Hey y'all, I'm Ashton. I recently left Texas for a world of adventure in the Caribbean and beyond. So join me as I journey to find the prettiest sunsets, friendliest sea life, epic views, and the best beach bars. Stay curious, friends, and enjoy the ride. After all, to live would be an awfully big adventure. Previously on Ashton on Adventure, you saw the crew make the tumultuous journey from Galveston to Miami. Now that we were in Miami, we wanted to enjoy land a bit, but due to COVID, most of Miami and Dade County were on lockdown. We drove just up the road to Fort Lauderdale where we found the nicest restaurant on the water looking at more sailboats, just our kind of place. lunch, we inevitably made it to the beach. While the lazy sailors don't have many standards, beach going is definitely one. Our second day in Miami was laundry day, but it was also apparently monsoon day, which was totally on par with how the entire trip had gone. It is Saturday, May 30th? We are leaving the slip of Miami, heading towards the Bahamas, hoping to do a stop or two in the Bahamas uh, for fuel because a lot of our stuff is motor sailing and looking to arrive in St. Thomas, final destination, June 7th, hopefully two days before my birthday, but we leaving. Soon enough, we arrived in the Bahamas. We stopped in at Clarence Town, Long Island, where we could only get fuel and anchor and with special permission from the Bahamian government. one of the many reasons I tolerate getting sick while sailing, so we can eventually stop and play in the water for a bit. The water was crystal clear so you can see the Verano name and the turtle I painted on the hull back in episode two.
Now we're headed down to St. Thomas. Four and a half-ish, five-ish days. Though we left Clarence Town with good spirits, the wind picked up to about 20 knots with two meter seas, and while half the crew was less than excited with our 20 degree healing, the other half was having a blast doing the only real sailing we did the entire trip. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. We have to lay sideways. All I got to say is you don't want to be down here if she starts to break up. You have to lay off the bed. <laughs> Another day, lying down. We got rails in the water. Starting my night watch. I've got the 8 to 11 shift. Seas ain't great. Ain't great. If I just stay mostly horizontal, I'm okay. Also got my zapper. Dramamine on board. So I'm just gonna lay here and watch the radar for three hours. That's it, y'all. Exciting life. Riveting. I managed to start feeling better and was able to function for my 31st birthday at sea, which was really supposed to be on land. You videoing? I am. It's Ashton's birthday, so we get to pop the cork. <laughs> Try to do that real nicer. Real nicer. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday! Your first passage at sea on your birthday. Yes! <laughs> here, can you get a picture? Yep. Let's see here. The final day, and the prediction was right on the money. It's going to be flat today. No wind, so final 130 nautical miles. We're motoring on in. This was a great last day at sea and I soaked up as much sun as I could until we watched it set over the Atlantic one last time during this passage. The seas stayed calm for our last set of night watches and around sunrise we started to see the beautiful Virgin Islands that we would now call home. If you enjoyed this episode, you can check out more at ashtononadventure.com or hit subscribe and follow along in the next adventure.